Hi friends, Astrologer Joe here. And I uh, had to do another video because uh, too much information is pouring in. And as you can tell by this uh, slide here, there's another one of these on the way as predicted. Now I did mention this about a year ago on several videos I talked about in the fall of 2024. There is that possibility of another one of these. Okay, and here we are. Uh, if you've been following the real news and what's going on online, there seems to be another outbreak of some kind. And uh, this one is in Africa. And I will go over that as well as the astrology uh, talking about it. And I'm doing this video today on August the 14th. So as you know, we're in that um, sort of chaos zone that I talked about, August 14th through about the 22nd. We're in this high energy chaos zone. So let me talk let me talk to you and show you what I'm talking about here. So here is the news stories that are going viral right now as we speak and I'm not going to read this of course because of the AI censorship and you know listening to everything here. So here is this no, another variant or some other nonsense that's coming out of nowhere that this criminal organization right here is making a big deal out of. Because, again, remember, they control humanity through scare tactics. So here we see another article that's coming out. This was on the 13th. And once again, we're in that zone of, you know, fear, fear, fear. We got to shut everything down again. So here we go. And, of course, this criminal organization right here uh, declares that this is a pu public health emergency. Okay, so here is an article from Forbes. I just pulled it up. It's on the 14th right there. I, I left the link down below. You can read it for yourself or Google any of these terms and it will come up. So right away, we're starting to see a, a repeat of 2022. Okay, this was the this was the first uh, event. Okay, and uh, to, to scare everyone and, you know, separate everyone and, and lock everything down. And it appears that they're trying to do the same exact thing again this year. So we'll have to see what happens. I, as I've said before, I think we're going to have a delay or we're not even going to have an election in the United States here. So it's very possible as it's looking right now, if they scare enough people uh, into October, uh, we may have a repeat of 2022, unfortunately. But let's see what happens. Uh, but here is the U.S.'s response to this new variant. I left a link down below. Uh, once again, you could read these three articles. And uh, of, yeah, of course, they're just going to continue to say that we need uh, special care and we need these special uh, injections here to help save humanity because that worked so well in 2022, right? How many people do you know that got four or five of those injections and they still got sick? So again, we are watching some sort of manipulation and lie to keep humanity scared and so they will comply and unfortunately half of the population of the world will comply because they don't know any better and so uh, this is another uh, way that they're going to manipulate and control the narrative so let's see what happens let's go dive into the astrology because as i've predicted and many other astrologers predicted the same thing we're coming into this you know chaotic time so i posted this uh, august the 14th i said that this uh, grand cross creating uh, four planets squaring off tension pressure conflict fighting one, oneself or others but creating plenty of inner turmoil a catalyst for change opportunities for significant growth and transformation i would say a new story of that caliber uh, definitely fits into this category right here so as you can see here as i'm doing this today we have this giant t uh no, grand cross it's a it's more than a t-square it's a grand cross and the transiting moon is the key right here it's in sagittarius as i'm doing this today and so it creates this tension or this energy buildup and um, we need to watch and i will get into this venus and saturn uh, venus being in virgo saturn being in pisces and today we absolutely have the conjunction between mars and uh, jupiter and this will be lingering all the way you know for the next week or so so here we have news coming out over the last couple of days of this big event that's meant to scare everybody to death and so here we go here here is some of the information that's coming out right on schedule according to the astrology now let's go back a second because on 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 the fourth august the fourth venus entered virgo now this is important because uh, as you can see here venus 
enters Virgo and then it immediately in conjuncts or quinquinux to uh, Pluto, which is transformation, power, uh, confusion, uncertainty. There's change in the air. It also makes a loose al another alignment to Neptune, which again causes confusion and illnesses and, uh, you know, things relating to health matters. So let's dive a little deeper because we also have Mercury, which is in retrograde, and as of today, is still in Virgo, but later on this evening, we'll switch back into Leo, okay? So this Virgo is associated with service, health, and responsibility. So we have two planets in the sign of Virgo, and so it's natural at this time, symbolically, that we're focusing on health once again. You see how it works? Now, the fact that uh, you know, Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is the ruler of Virgo. And so it's retrograde. Retro meaning going back. So what are we seeing? We're seeing something from the past resurfacing again. Okay? So here we see the conjunction that happened on the 7th between Mercury and Venus in Virgo on the 7th right there. And this is where all this nonsense started. This is where all this information started coming out about this new variant, this new, you know, disease and whatever else is going on uh, right there. So it was subtle. It was under the under the radar. And, uh, you know, but they're planning it all along. So here we see more information coming out or, you know, from a symbolic standpoint when it comes to the astrology of what's taking place. Now, the thing about Mercury retrograde, it's going to be in retrograde, as you can see here, all the way through the 28th. Something or someone from the past. This is what retrograde means. Retro, going back. Okay? It'll be in Virgo, but then it'll switch signs later tonight into uh, Leo. Now, let me just give you a quick overview here with the United States' chart. And again, I had to focus on the United States because the United States is right in the crosshairs of all of this change that's coming in these next couple of months. So we could see the Venus entering Virgo right there, and it immediately in conjuncts Pluto right there. All right. But notice the planets in the sixth house, uh, and the sixth house in astrology represents the health house, the daily routine, the service. And on the fourth, we had Mars, you know, loosely conjuncting Uranus, which is about surprises. But we also have uh, Uranus in the sixth house squaring the moon of the united states so something is going on within the united states that's a little alarming and unsettling okay and as we go into the 19th we will continue to see this movement forward with this energy now mercury is in stage it's right now it's in retrograde so it's moving backwards backwards and it's at one it's at zero degrees of virgo as well and so what i'm seeing here uh is a lot of stuff pertaining to this Uranus because Uranus is going to be activated in the next five days or so because of Mercury and because of the moon and because of the full moon that's going to hit the United States. So there could be some major announcements being made right now as we speak. So here is this conjunction uh, as of today, the uh, T, well, the Grand Cross. Okay, so here is the moon, transiting moon opposing the conjunction. So here we see information. Uh, people are, you know, right on their keyboards, getting on, on board with all of this. But we also see Venus and Saturn. Now, this is a loose opposition, but it's still an opposition nonetheless. And it will be getting tighter and tighter as it moves over in the next five days or so. It'll be in perfect alignment with Saturn. But Saturn is also squaring or beginning to square Jupiter and Mars. You can see here, 16 degrees, 17 degrees. So we're seeing the pressure coming from these unelected, uh, you know, bureaucratic agencies around the world, uh, which represented, is represented by Saturn, and illness and sickness and being a victim in Pisces. So here we see this energy coming into being right now on the 14th and continuing on. So here is basically what these two signs uh, generally are associated with. Now, there's a whole lot more associated with these signs than just these three things, okay? But these fall under that category, like Pisces. Pisces is associated with disease or illness. It's also associated with vic victimization and addiction. And on the opposite end, because these are opposites in the zodiac, Virgo is associated with health. It's worrisome, and it can be very critical. So, you know, the energy is being maximized between Venus in Virgo and Saturn in Pisces. The psychopaths that run this planet know that, 
And so they're going to maximize it and, and use it to their uh, advantage to scare the crap out of everyone. Do you see what I'm trying to say here, friends? So here on the 19th, we're leading up to this, these two T-squares, as I've pointed out before. So here is the Venus in Virgo, 18 degrees, opposing Saturn at 17 degrees. That's a really tight op opposition. And they're also squaring Mars and Jupiter. So we have the one T-square, as I pointed out. But also on the 19th, we have the full moon, which I'll get into in a minute. And Uranus is in the mix. So we're seeing tension as it's building and escalating, this push and pull effect. Uh, this a aspect may manifest itself as struggle between optimism and pessimism. Absolutely. When you got this kind of energy being revealed and all of a sudden you see news stories about, hey, we're going to lock you down again. Hey, you better get those 29 shots. So basically, we are seeing that um, something from the past is repeating itself. Now, does that mean it's going to go through? I think they're going to spend the next month or two, actually September and October, scaring the crap out of everyone and forcing everything to be shut down again. And so this, again, is what we're seeing. And uh, unfortunately, it's not pleasant. Anyway, uh, those of us that are, uh, that are awake and know what's going on are not going to you know, feed into it this time around. So we're going to see some major conflict around this issue as well. So here in the United States' chart, let's go back to the Mercury retrograde because Mercury will go retrograde this evening uh, after 8 o'clock. And there it is. Mercury goes back into Leo. And now it begins to square uh, Uranus right here, 27, 29. And it keeps moving backwards until it's 26. But it'll keep squaring it. So which means over the next couple of days, more information keeps coming out about this uh, situation and of course it'll be opposing the moon and uh you know and these two will be conjunct up here and we still have the jupiter mars alignment in the seventh house of partnerships and i wrote this here partners around the world begin to align these criminal organizations all begin to align okay it's like they've got their marching orders okay let's put the wheels in motion the timing is right you know the stars have aligned let's do it and that's what they're doing. That's what I mean by this. Partners around the world begin to align. We also see an inconjunct from um, Mercury to the natal Pluto. So we're seeing some real strong power struggles right now as we speak. And the astrology absolutely resembles it. And now we're starting to see the picture of what's evolving. But there's still more in the mix here. Okay? So if you don't believe me, go talk to somebody who lives in New Zealand who now is going to be forced to take these things. OK, and uh, here's the article. I left it down below. And again, you see how it's this was August the 8th. And I said that that conjunction between Venus and Mercury was on the 7th. So here we see, you know, the information coming forth where they basically uh, control certain countries uh, and uh, the deep state around the world, uh, the criminal, the criminals that run the world uh, control certain countries. Unfortunately, New Zealand is one of them. You know, and I've talked about this before, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, uh, England, the EU, uh, they, they, they literally just control these countries, Japan. Uh, and so they're e it's easier to pass this nonsense over there first. You could easily bribe somebody or get somebody elected into positions of power. And then when the time comes, you know, they put their people in and they start passing these laws. And so here is what's going on here. Uh, poor New, New Zealand. I hope you guys could uh, work your way out of this, you know, because it's a, it's, a, it's a mess. Also, if you want to hear something really interesting, I came across this. Uh, this is a Pfizer a whistleblower, and he, hold, he doesn't hold back. He basically says that, you know, there's definitely manipulation taking place here. And he's an actual doctor, so it's not like he's uh, just the, uh, you know, VP. He's an actual doctor. So I left the link down below. You could listen to him. It's about an hour long. Well worth listening to. OK, so, so again, we're, we're starting to see all the pieces coming together and the chaos. Also, uh, Mr. T just posted this on X uh, this morning and uh, I left the link down below. You could watch it. And he basically says the same thing, a repeat of 2022. And this is what we should do right here. And so, look, it's it's a different ball game uh, than 2022. So people are more aware, many of us are more aware of what's going on, and we're not going to feed into the fears and the anxiety and the stress and all this other nonsense. But make no mistake, friends, there's no easy way out of this. 
as I've said, because you will have people on, on, you know, that are afraid and will take whatever the government tells them or inject whatever the government tells them into their bodies. You know, it, it's silly. It's ridiculous. But and then there's those people, you know, that are awake and, and know what's going on and say, hell no, we're not going anywhere near that stuff. And so this is what we have coming up. In, as I said in my, in my last video and the ones before that, that we've got about six to nine months of a little bit of turbulence and we're entering that zone right now. So it appears that they have another one of these coming into the picture. Okay. And I purposely highlighted this because this is what they want. Remember, this is what they want. Whatever is in there, it's to control you, to control your hormones. It's to, you know, not have you reproduce. These things have been causing more uh, pregnancy deaths than you could imagine. Just look at the statistics. Just look at actual doctor statistics of how many miscarriages or men are sterile and so on. Remember, the psychopaths believe that there are too many people on this planet and they've been trying to sterilize and, you know, take care of people, quote unquote, for the last 150 years. Okay, so this is what they have going on. Uh, it appears, you know, this is really coming to the forefront. If you haven't already seen the first one, you should absolutely watch it and show your friends and family. And many of them will say, this is crazy. Oh, this is insane. Blah, blah, blah. And then there's part two, which Dr. Martin does a fantastic job of connecting the dots. Man, does he do a great job of connecting the dots and how long this has been going on. Everyone thinks it's just a few years. Uh-uh. This goes back 20, 25, 30 years that they've been planning all this. So once again, this is the perfect word for all of this, this and this. So here is what we have going on. But of course, on the 19th, we have this, you know, tremendous full moon in Aquarius. And again, it's on the United States' birth chart. So in your own personal life, you may be having some revelations and uh, visions and dreams and things that you need to resolve. You may have some surprises. And we'll have to keep an eye on things in the next couple of days and see what else comes out. But there have already been some major events that took place just from my you know last video last week. So, look, we had the plan. We had the planetary K KP index. Now, for those of you who don't know what a KP index is, this is the overall geomagnetic energy that's hitting the Earth. And when it spikes up, obviously, into the red zone, like it did back in I believe it was May, we had three bars for like two days or a couple of hours and then a couple of days, you know, just kept waiting on. But when this hits the high level, the energy level goes through the roof. Either you feel overwhelmed and nervous and anxiety ridden, or you feel sleepy and tired and lethargic and you can't get out of your own way. This is the kind of energy I'm talking about. So we already had this right here on the 12th. Okay. This was in the afternoon. So uh, I left the link down below. It's from the NOAA uh, website. You could check it for yourself on a daily basis. And when it goes into the yellow, into the orange, and into the red, and you start feeling weird, now you know why. Okay? We also had a 4.4 magnitude earthquake in Los Angeles. This is again on the 12th. You see what I'm saying? When the geomagnetic energy hits the Earth, it does affect different regions of the planet. All right? Now... Um, as I'm doing this video on the 14th, <clears throat> yesterday, we did still have some strong magnetic energy in the air. And uh, there was, um, where was this? This was in China now. In China, they were having issues with, um, you know, ham radios and, and electricity and stuff like that because of the X flare that came off the sun. Again, we have to keep an eye on this and take this seriously because it affects us physically, emotionally, psychologically, and also our electronics are being affected by this stuff. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a time of great awakening. We have to understand things, how they really work. You know, we can't keep our heads in the sand anymore going, oh, yeah, everything will be great. Yeah, fantastic. When you have cosmic activity that's acting up, you see crazy nonsense on the planet that's trying to scare the crap out of everyone so that we, you know, go along with the, their program. And so, and there's a great awakening occurring. In other words, within us, we're starting to realize more and more of what, you know, what we are and who we are. And so we need to pay attention to all this. Okay. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to help support me, check out this mini, uh, mini numerology report uh, on this website here. I have nothing to do with it, but my team has found this and the moon reading report uh, and it's great. You know, uh, they're great little uh, sort of, 
teasers or gifts, if you will, you know, to, to give you a little bit of information. If you do decide to buy something, yes, we get a little commission. It's not a big deal, but this helps us out. It helps me out, and I appreciate it. But this is a numerology report, and it's actually very good. Uh, you know, I read through it, and I said, wow, this is pretty cool. Anyway, if you like this video and you want to help support me and uh, you want to join the Inner Circle, where I talk absolutely much more freely than I could talk to uh, on here, uh, and every week we have a Zoom call. Or if you can't, then there's the free community. But just go to astrojoe.com. You'll see everything there, including the moon report. All right? So remember, friends, spiritual beings going through this very interesting time and having this human experience, which is getting a little stranger and weirder by the day. But hey, listen, we chose to be here. And, uh, you know, we'll get through this. And we just have to basically unify, stay together, and, you know, do the best we can and stay out of fear. All right? Have a great week, and let's see what happens over the next few days. All right, bye for now.